Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son Archie takes after his dad, in the sweetest way. Now that baby Archie is growing into his little personality, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle can already tell he takes after his dad. That's because of the 17-month-old tot's hilarious behavior that he seems to have gotten from the Duke of Sussex. The source said, Archie is such a well-behaved child, but he takes after his dad and has an adorable cheeky streak, which makes everyone laugh. The insider noted, the royal couple's little bundle of joy loves being the center of attention and has lots of confidence. The insider explains, you can already tell that he has a strong, determined personality. When he's not keeping the handsome prince and the former Suits actress entertained with his cute antics, Archie loves reading. The source uh, He's already a bookworm and Harry and Meghan spend hours reading to him, especially before going to bed. He's an incredibly engaged child and eager to learn. Despite having a bright and airy playroom for Archie in their new $14.7 million mansion in Santa Barbara, Harry and Meghan prefer their youngster play outside as much as possible. The insider shares, Harry and Meghan are against Archie watching too much TV and think it's important for him to be outdoors, they're in the process of updating the outside play area. That came with the house to fit Archie's needs and have already bought him a new swing. The source said, Fortunately, Archie loves running around the backyard with his dad. One of Archie's favorite toys is his ball set. He's way too young to play sports, but Harry's already trying to teach him to kick a ball. Weeks after Harry and Meghan moved into their new lavish property in the Montecito area, in August, a separate insider revealed how they were adjusting. The source stated, in September, Harry and Meghan have no regrets whatsoever about purchasing their home in Montecito. He says he feels safer and more relaxed at their new home and enjoys the freedom. The insider revealed they were also getting Archie acquainted with the new home by teaching him to swim in their luxury pool. The insider said, Archie is such a character and is full of energy. Harry and Meghan can't wait for him to make friends in the area. Archie is going to be all grown up before we know it. Another analysis. The real reason Meghan and Harry quit social media for good. Social media can be a love-hate tool for many people, including celebrities. The opportunities for celebrities to connect with fans and promote their products or initiatives on social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are endless. But the drawbacks are pressure to upload content consistently and being exposed to bullying, threats, and abuse, negative aspects that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle experienced during their time as working royals. In fact, Meghan spoke about her relationship with social media in October 2020 for an interview with Fortune and said that social media is addictive. Meghan said, For my own self-preservation, I have not been on social media for a very long time. I had a personal account years ago, which I closed down, and then we had one through the institution and our office that was in the UK that wasn't managed by us, that was a whole team, and so I think that comes with the territory for the job you have. Seeing and experiencing the negative aspects of social media firsthand, it does not come as a surprise that Prince Harry and Meghan have decided to set a new precedent with their non-profit organization Archwell by refusing to engage in any form of social media moving forward. Here's why they decided to quit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit social media because of abuse. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have no plans to use social media platforms for their new company Archwell and are very unlikely to return to using their own personal accounts on Facebook or Twitter. The reason the couple decided to quit was because they could not bear the hate they received on social media platforms when they worked for the royal family and would rather focus on their progressive role as activists in the United States with Archwell. Prince Harry and Meghan's decision has been a long time coming as the latter had opened up about her experiences of being ridiculed online in 2019. Meghan said, she was the most trolled person in the entire world and the experience for her was almost unsurvivable because it damaged her mental and emotional health. Prince Harry was empathetic about his wife's struggles as he has been an advocate for social media reforms. Harry said about the negativity on social media. The experts describe it as an attention economy, basically it's a shouting match that benefits the wrong people. Social media should focus on what really matters, the things that bind us rather than the things that divide us. In other news, 
why Meghan and Harry won't be going back to England anytime soon. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle decided to step back from their duties as senior members of the British royal family, the choice came along with plenty of changes. The changes included leaving the UK behind and enjoying a new life in a new home in a new area. Although the couple and their son, Archie, temporarily stayed in a massive Canadian mansion, they eventually moved closer to Los Angeles, where they settled down in California's Santa Barbara area. While Harry and Meghan's plan originally involved them splitting their time between UK and the United States, they haven't been back to the UK as much as expected for one particular reason, COVID-19. A source told LMT Channel in January 2021, Meghan and Harry have not abandoned their plan to spend time. In the UK, it's just that world events have made staying in one place the best choice for now. The pair's decision to stay where they are makes sense in light of the fact that England's third national lockdown legally came into force the same month that the source opened up about the royals. That means that even if Harry and Meghan wanted to return to the UK, they likely wouldn't be able to. However, there are also plenty of other more personal reasons why Harry and Meghan won't be returning to England anytime soon. Harry and Meghan are happy, right? Where they are. Being able to visit family in other countries isn't the best idea, or even legal in many cases, during an international health crisis. However, once the pandemic is well handled, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will definitely be going back to spend some quality time in the UK. Yet, the insider also noted that they are very happy that they made the move to Santa Barbara. As tough as the year has been, they have not wavered on their decision. There are a number of reasons the royals are loving their life in California. The source explained, now that they're free to make their own decisions, they've been able to accomplish so much and they have a lot more in the works. While the pair have certainly been locking down deals, their goal is to be a force for good in this world and they are making very strategic choices to accomplish that and being private citizens does make it easier. The Duchess of Sussex is also elated to be able to have so much time with her mom, Doria Ragland. Noting that Meghan had spent years away from her mother due to both work and marriage, now having all this time with her has been very meaningful and so good for her soul. Beyond that, having her mom's help with Archie, watching her bond with him, it's priceless and definitely a huge plus to living in California. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. The truth about Meghan Markle's friendship with Oprah. Oprah Winfrey has been a true friend to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as they settle into their new life in America. According to an August 2020 Vanity Fair story, Oprah may have helped the couple when they first moved to Los Angeles by getting them set up in Tyler Perry's mansion. In July 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to Santa Barbara, California settling near Oprah, who owns several properties in the area. Oprah has helped the couple feel welcome in the community. The talk show queen has introduced the couple to her friends, including one of their favorite self-help gurus, Breen Brown. Oprah is also helping the Duchess of Sussex by promoting Clever, a vegan coffee brand that sells instant oat milk lats. Oprah Winfrey and Meghan Markle's friendship is a family affair. The friendship between Oprah Winfrey and Meghan Markle goes back several years. Oprah was a guest at the 2018 royal wedding, and Oprah wrote about the experience on Oprah.com. I was unprepared for the depth of emotion I felt stepping onto the grounds of Windsor Castle. It literally took my breath away. And I thought immediately of the history, the legacy, the astounding moment Meghan Markle was stepping into. The friendship between Oprah and Markle has grown into a family affair. Oprah is also friends with Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland. In 2020, Oprah helped Ragland navigate the media storm surrounding the family after Meghan and Prince Harry left the UK. Prince Harry is also working on a project with Oprah for Apple TV+. The pair are developing a docu-series on mental health, and it's the Duke of Sussex's first time as an executive producer. Oprah Winfrey is a powerful friend. Oprah Winfrey's friendship is invaluable to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in multiple ways. Oprah is an expert in growing a brand. She built her long-running talk show into a media empire and positioned herself as one of the world's most popular tastemakers. 
Oprah is one of the best mentors in the world when it comes to leveraging and building a brand, and her network of friends can open doors for the Meghan and Prince Harry. Oprah vacations with powerful people like President Barack Obama and Tom Hanks, has a publishing empire, and is the chief of OWN, Oprah Winfrey Network, part of Discovery Network. In 2019, Oprah's endorsement completely changed the life of college student Emma Johnson, after her K-chain business M. John made Oprah's list, in 2015 and 2016. According to Johnson, it single-handedly enabled me to cover my four-year college education to the tune of $250,000. The power duo of Amazon and Oprah's favorite things is a sales generator like no other. The partnership allowed me to sell at a robust pace and enable diverse customers to discover my teeny business. But one of the best reasons Oprah is a good friend to have is because she's come through her own hard times and has loads of empathy. After the tough year the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have had, we are sure they welcome a good friend like her. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.